Hello and welcome back. I am proud to report that downgrading to 2.1.8 has worked for me and some other people. I will have links down below. I don't know how long they're going to last for, but wow, like, isn't that unreal? I mean, it, it says it right there. You probably can't read it because this is on my Mac. Again, I have it running through my Elgato capture card to, because I'm recording on my Windows computer. But it says right here, since the 2.1.9 release, we've changed the policy on Bias Effects 2's Tone Cloud licensing. As a result, the accessibility of the presets have been adjusted. From now on, the presets that contain Bias Amp 2 content will be unavailable to those who do not own the respecting license. This is merely to reinforce the same principle across all additional content like Bias Amp 2, Bias Pedal, Celestian, Expansion Packs for Bias Effects 2. And I, fe I feel betrayed, I really do. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel, but uh, more so for existing customers. Like, like I said in my video yesterday, I just bought this a couple of days ago, not even 24 hours later. I was locked out of all my patches, and I have no reason to lie. Uh, you could see the orange cogwheel there. It's because it's letting me know that there's an update, and I'm just like, screw you. But I'm really excited about this. So out of all of these, the Pink Floyd Money Solo preset was the only one that didn't require anything additional since the update. So that's why I favorited it. All these other ones, none of these I was able to use up until about 10 minutes ago. Now if I want to use the Doug uh, Gilmore, or Doug Gilmore... David Gilmore, clean, uh, Metallica Black album, like they're, let me just move that out of my face. They just, they all work. Uh, this one worse, this one, yeah, ignore, whatever. This one uh, was working, sorry, uh, these ones weren't, and they, they just, they all work. Like I said, probably a useless video because I've already updated the description in my other video. I just felt the need to kind of rant and get this off my chest. Uh, I've been playing guitar on and off for, you know, 30 years, and I would neglect it several years at a time. I'm not that great, boohoo. And just recently I bought, you know, a guitar, fairly cheap. And this helped with the immersion, right? The immersion factor of sounding like your favorite guitarist or whatever, or whatever tone that you really enjoy. And it just, it really added to the experience. And I had, like I said, spent 150 because I bought the bias standard and I bought the metal pack. And there's a lot of tones. And I was like, oh, I'm, you know, stuck behind paywall where I need to either upgrade to the pro or the elite. But I knew that going into it, right? But then when you get hit with a second paywall and it's like, now I need bias amp too. It's like, no. I'm not saying it's fair for new customers purchasing it from today moving forward. But I think, no offense, especially especially existing customers, we had no forewarning. I, I didn't see anywhere online anything about that this was going to be their new business practice. We didn't get a forewarning. It's not listed right there now. Please note... Due to our recent changes, you know, I'm just pulling this out of my ass, uh, you know, certain presets may no longer be available that once were, as we now require people to own the matching tier bias amp to software to correspond with the preset that you, you know, you're now using. And to me, they just didn't do that. To me, that would have been like better. It would have given us like several months warning or like, you know, that whole grandfather clause thing where like, uh, you know, something happens, but you can still keep your old cell phone plan sometimes, you know, like when they move to a new one, sometimes you get like promotions and you get a bunch of features that you can no longer get, but your grandfather clause into it. Just like this, you are basically changing the license. It's, it's like buying a, you know, an actual physical sound effects processor. And then you wake up one day and it decides to say, nope, sorry, you can't tune your guitar anymore, like, or whatever. It's just, it's completely ridiculous. But I'm also completely relieved all at the same time. 
it's kind of really odd. I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, I've tried Axiom. I kind of tried Amplitude. My budget was around 150 Canadian ish. That's about a hundred ish dollars American. So I get it. I'm being a poor bastard. I just don't know where else to go. Uh, you know, the, one of the biggest things, and while I'm rambling here, is uh, you know the UI. What I love about Bias Effects more than anything. First of all, I have it on my iPad, and it works great. It's so uh, it's so cheap. Um, it's like when you click on a preset, right? Like I don't know. It's just there's just something about. Like, it, it's just all there, just on and off. Like, it's just all, like, it's just so nice. Axiom, with all due respect, it, it's a great program. Uh, it's currently not on sale. It's, like, $320 Canadian. Uh, it just doesn't look as pretty. Uh, you'll get the squares, like your change, your before and after and all that. Uh, it also acts as a DAW. Again, I don't know too much about all the intricacies. I've mainly been playing guitar on an acoustic for like 30 something years and then I just recently now and again did the jump up to uh, electric I've had a few here and there but I, I wouldn't stick to them long this kind of crap always seemed complicated which is actually why I'm on a uh, a Mac uh, like I joked around yesterday in my other video there I found uh, a Mac mini uh, from 2010 for twenty dollars Canadian that's like 13 14 dollars American at a thrift store and it works so this program works on it but it no longer works on my Windows computer it was working for a while and then it stopped working and I was like this is bullshit I was uh, running the demo and there was like a weird buzzing and humming it's a great computer but for me Mac has been more reliable when it comes to guitar stuff so like I said I just don't know where else to turn I wouldn't want to have to invest buying all these pedals like, are, are you kidding me having to buy all this equipment? You know how much money that would cost, right? So I just don't know where else to go. I just don't like Axiom. Like, for me, uh, the price, you can open up, like I said, VSTs and A AXs or whatever they're called. You know, all that fancy stuff. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of discouraging because... I wanted this to work. I wanted to be able to like update it and all that. And what this is probably going to do is help me buy some time. And I'm probably going to have to bite the bullet or the shotgun shell in this instance and maybe upgrade with the bias amp like later on, half a year down the road when it goes on sale again, 40, 50% off, just to kind of get it over and done with. Because with a tone cloud, uh, with the nice beautiful layout it's just so simple uh, I just don't know where else I could go uh, like I said Amplitude seems to be not too bad uh, Helix is really expensive it's like 400 Canadian it's, it seems like it's bias effects right same thing with like on mobile devices right it's all bias effects or Amplitude and yeah I just I don't know it's very discouraging, like I said, for the millionth time, I like I just bought the guitar, right? And then all this happens, and it's like, what? Because I feel like if I don't upgrade, and I don't comply to their new changes, I feel like I'm not being true to myself by saying, no, this isn't right. But then I'm out over half a grand on the guitar that I bought, right? Whereas if I suck it up and buy the bias amp for $45, $50, actually it's more like 83 Canadian, then I'm able to use my guitar again, right? So it's like, where do I go? I'm actually still in a position technically where I could get a refund. I mean, you have 30 days to get a refund, which is why I keep saying like, where else am I going to go? I don't particularly like the other programs. I, I recognize that they're good. Uh, but like with Axiom, my biggest thing apart from the price was just how do I get all these amazing tones that I have? There's no tone cloud. I don't know if there's like a website or a forum community where people gather. They talk about presets and all that. I don't know. But I definitely don't want to go uh, like 
analog as they call it, like with the real pedals there. I could, I could never do that. I like having my little I rig my guitar, even bringing out like an old iPhone and uh, just loading up bias and I got my Sony Bluetooth speaker and I can kind of jam on the front porch on a nice summer day. It's kind of cool being able to do that, not just have, you know, the acoustic with you. Because like I said, the sounds, all the different tones, right? It's so immersive, like I need to explain to any of you what it's about, right? You don't see too many people ranting and raving about acoustic guitars. I mean, I have a thousand dollar, actually it's more than that, it's like a thirteen, fourteen hundred dollar Yamaha acoustic, actually. It's, to me, the best acoustic guitar I've ever played in my life. And it's amazing to play. But it's always going to sound the same. Now, mind you, it's got built-in pickup. And yes, I could plug it in, but it's acoustic. It's big. It's clunky. Whereas, like, a you know, little electric guitar, it's a lot lighter, depending on what kind you got. I just have a, a cheap uh, Epiphone SG400 Pro. It's uh, I like it a lot. And uh, it, it plays well. None of the... But, uh, frets buzz even when it's unplugged and I'm just fiddling around practicing my scales it's been great fun uh, so yeah so like I said I don't even know where I'm going with this this is more of just like which is why I titled the video like a, a rant you know it's just me ranting and in frustration but I guess the main point I want to know legitimately even though it sounds so cliche, let me know down below what you think. No, for real. I'm in a position where I can get my money back, but now I have things working. Or where else can I go? Like, what what do you people think I should do? Because I don't really have anywhere else I can play the guitar. Like I said, Axiom's out of my budget. Helix Native's 400. That's just insane. Amplitude, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I would just like it. I tried a demo a while ago. I don't know if there's other ones. Like when you Google guitar effects processor programs, a couple things come out. But I don't know what the proper terminology is for a program like this. Is it? Is this called like an amp simulator, a guitar effects processor? Like I don't know what the exact wording is to find similar programs to this. But uh, I would be very interested in hearing your input. I am kind of leaning, honestly, to be honest towards uh, keeping it, even though I really don't want to, but I paid for a program I can't update, you know what I mean? But it works. Or do I update it, but then spend the extra $80 Canadian? Oh. Anyways, I'm going to stop here because I seriously don't want to sound like just someone who's complaining, even though that's pretty much all I've done. I'm just glad that I called this a rant because that's what it is. It's my a journey into playing guitar again and uh, it's kinda rocky this this is part of the reason why I stuck to just playing acoustic as well because throughout the years here and there like the odd couple time I'd get like an electric and try to play with some sort of effects processor or whatever I just always had issues uh, I would download these demos and nothing ever worked on my Windows computer then I would try ASIO for all that was a headache and, like I said, I have a fairly good Windows computer. I guess not good enough, because it won't let me do what I want to do. This $20 thrift store Mac Mini does. So, anyhow. Sorry about the rambling on all over the place. It was very convoluted. But at least I put it in the title. That it's a rant, right? So, so that you're not, like, thinking this is clickbait. And I think I got to the point fairly quickly. I mean, hey, ding, look at the description box. Check out the download links. I want to emphasize that, which is why I'm making another video. I don't know, maybe it'll get shot up to the top of the search results. I don't know. So that people have a chance to downgrade if they have to. That's really the main focus for you about this video. And then for me, it was just to get this built up uh, anxiety and frustration out. Because to me, this is like a huge outlet. Uh, I have really bad issues upstairs. <laughs> and uh, sometimes just vocalizing it and just getting it off my chest is uh, therapeutic. So uh, thank you if you tuned in and actually listened to the whole thing. 15 minutes. 
maybe you're just as crazy as I am if you actually sat through this whole thing because I don't even remember 90% of what I said which is why I'm going to stop talking now so that I don't end up repeating myself. It's bad enough that I ramble and go on in a circle, but I, I don't want to, like, repeat myself. If it's, like, a spiral, and... Okay, I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> Take care. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And uh, I'll make sure when you load up 2.1.8, it forces you to update to 2.1.9 when you try to use the tone cloud. It's a joke. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. And if not, well, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and let me know down below if this worked for you, uh, what your thoughts are on this whole thing. And that's it. Bye for now.